Hi, I'm Don. I'm Claudia. Good morning. Good morning. And this is Short Short Trailer. Once again, to bring you humor, excitement, and travel. Uh, Claudia, what, where are we? What are we doing? Well, we are at Haystack Reservoir. It is a little campground that is south of Ma Madras, yeah. between Madras and Bend in Oregon along Highway 97. Mm -hmm. And it's really a nice little campground. Um, there are two actually at this reservoir. And the first one, when you first get here, is everything is nicely paved and it's smaller. The camping um, is not as many sites. But around- Kind of like living in a condominium. Yeah, but around the back is a nice treed one that's uh, very close to the lake and they are primitive campsites. There isn't any water, but um, there's fire rings and tables and paved uh, campsite parking areas. And there's quite a few sites here. There are a couple of sites that are good pull-throughs. Longer rigs would have a little more challenge uh, here. Either site, this one or the earlier one that we mentioned, um, most of these campsites are made for, I don't know, what length would you guess? Up to maybe 25 max. Yeah, probably. There are some that you could do a longer rig with, but you'd have to hunt. And on real busy weekends, my guess is it might be a challenge. I am not going to tell you the number of the site we found because coming into it is very sweet, uh, steep, but we backed all the way down until our tires hit the concrete guides at the back and when we got in our trailer it was absolutely perfectly level so if you want to know which site this is it's gonna uh, yeah contributions are accepted <laughs> anyway what are we gonna do today oh we're gonna head south again back over highway 97 the way we came but one of the things we're gonna to attempt to do is stop at some of the places we didn't stop at on the way up so we can kind of cover the downwind side of Highway 97. Yeah, and the weather looks like it might rain, but we're gonna beaver on and make sure we keep going. It, it is the choice and pleasure of preseason camping. There you go. Yeah. Anyway, hope you join us. Okay. And uh, keep watching and we will show you what good things we find today. And please don't forget to su subscribe and make comments. We need the comments. You know, uh, like my son says, I talk too much. So maybe you just want to say shut up and don't be on the air ever again. No, 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 no that's no, not no, what we we're after, no, is it? We, after. we want our followers to languish for the next video. That's enough. We are just south of Bend, Oregon at the Newberry National Volcanic Monument. And we're going to take a little trail on the molten land. There's a wonderful lava flow we're going to explore. Come with us. And I'm going to turn us so we can see down the trail and then look up at the mound of lava. We'll start down the trail with you and then we'll take a break and pick you up when we get where there's a more interesting view. We're winding up the trail of fire to look at the lava flow and go to get a good view of what it looks like. From what I understand, it's a pretty spectacular flow that happened I don't know, many years ago, we'll have to look at the exact details, but you can see the type of lava, and it all looks rather crumbly. That's probably not a scientific term, but those of you who are scientific will probably leave a comment below telling me what kind of lava this is. Okay, I'm going to work at getting you sort of a panoramic we go around here we see the large what looks from here to be a cinder cone uh that's driving up and then we're going to show you the extent 
of the field that we can see from here. So I'm going to tilt you down a little bit so you can see what's right here. You can see the large snow-capped mountain in the distance. But this lava flow, flow goes as far as you can see out there where the gentle faint blue of the mountains meets the lava flow. And if I were to try to describe this lava to those who are knowledgeable, whoop, I would say that it looked like it's the lava that was flowing along the top of the flow because it's very chunky and uh, kind of broken up in particles and it looks like it is bubbly like it carried a fair amount of gas but I give I get the illusion that underneath probably was sticky lava Anyway, that's pretty much an all the way around view. Go back up and leave a little sky. Okay, and it's starting to lava lands, uh, National Monument, and we're just inside. And we're going to take a walk through. Over here, there is a really cool three dimensional map. It's right off the road. Shows you the entire area of the lava lands, lava lands. We are currently at this spot right here. And if you go south, you eventually come to where the major caldera and two lakes of that are. And you can see by all the little lava cones all over the place, that what is brown and shows lava now is probably only just a small part of once covered this whole area. Very fascinating place. We kind of cut our outside short. Be, be. I'm first going to make just kind of a quick walk through and show you a general view of what's displayed here. Uh, and I must say that whoever did the original graphics and work to show what was going on at this place has done a just a fantastic job because the displays of the graphics are really quite phenomenal. And down here is actually a woolly mammoth tooth showing the animals that must have lived here in this area. Here's an idea of how great the eruption was at the time of when this volcano area would have let loose. This picture display shows what took place 1,300 years ago, uh, the big obsidian flows that you see here today. Part of out where we were walking earlier. This particular display touches on present time. And here's a talking about a tradition of a tradition of adaptation, ancient highway, and then here shows some traditions in stone. So some of the Native Americans and the crack workmen they did with uh, points for spears and arrowheads. Beautifully fine work up here. Something where antlers, horns, and other things were used for working with making those. There's also a picture here that shows you the Newberry Volcano and the area that were the results you know here's Oregon look at how much of Oregon it takes up it's amazing here is an example of uh, the arrows and the spears that were used by the early Native Americans and here's some really beautiful handwork with uh, a reed I'm not sure what the reed was for we'll look at that later 
some basket work was probably of the local areas. Wetland resources. And this one talks about the changing lifestyles of the area. And you get some more views of some volcanoes showing their full force. And here's some geothermal energy talking about where it's coming from and how it's created for this area. And I think we hear some sound effects of the rumbling of a volcano. What a deep rumbling sound that is. Listen to that sound. Here it talks about floating rocks. I remember experienced those long ago. Liquid rock. Hi, I'm Don. I'm Claudia. And this is Short Short, Short, Short Trailer. Trailer. Tell us what we're doing. We're closing this video. We're closing this video out. It's actually the next morning, but we're going to close this out. We were busy setting up last night, so we want to thank you for coming along with us on our little journey to the Lava Lands and the National... Mm, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> National Monument. <Lo> <laughs> Monument. There you go. Right. Well, the other thing is I'd like to say is we're going back, but we're going back for a couple of days. It really is a must-do site. Um, it is. It's really very nice. The visitor center was quite interesting. Uh, Don took quite a bit of video there that you probably got to see. and. They have some other things that we did not get to stop at and show you. There is a wonderful cave that you can walk to that's yeah. just a mile down the road from the visitor center. Yeah. It has 150 steps, so that's a little bit of a walk, but it isn't bad. And it's quite interesting, but you need sturdy shoes and a big, bright flashlight because it is dark. We also didn't make it to the caldera where there are campsites that I suggest you put on your must-do list. But anyway, we're closing up this video now, so we'd like you to give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Claudia says thumbs up is like, so I'll mention that again. We'd like you to subscribe to our videos, and uh, we'd also like you to look up here in the corner, you'll see a little bell. Click the bell because that means our next video will give you a message so you know we have the next video ready for you to watch and come along with us. We really enjoy you on our trips and... And we want to thank you and we hope that you have a great day and we're going to say goodbye. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye for now.